so before start the actual project explanation i request you please subscribe my channel so you can see on the screen up till now i have uploaded more than 66 video on raspberry pi the raspberry pi with iot that is all this video then also iot with arduino all this video are 26 and recently we started the new series on the pick my controller before that i also cover the project on the python web application so if you want to learn python iot raspberry pi arduino pick from the scratch and from uh, freely then please subscribe my channel please support me and the most important part is whatever the code i have explained whatever the project i have created on this youtube channel all these projects are freely available you no need to pay anything for this project so just if only point is you should watch complete video and you should follow my process so if you want to learn something from the scratch and freely then support me and please subscribe my channel and please click on like button okay now let's see how to fly the raspberry pi uh, image into your memory card so first very important point is you should have the 32 gb memory card like this you can see this is my 32 gb sandix memory card and you should have the uh, card reader like this so please place into memory card into your card reader okay once you place into memory card into card reader just plug that card reader to your laptop okay once you plug your uh, card reader to laptop very important point is you should format that memory card first whether it is new memory card whether it is old memory card you should format that memory card first so how to format that memory card it is very important you should require one software I will show you the software name like this software you need SD formatter software please download this software from the Google you uh, you will easily find on Google this software please download from the Google okay uh, so once you open the software uh, you can again plug out your memory card that uh, like card reader from laptop you can see once you plug out the drive is showing blank here once you plug in your memory card uh, once you plug in your card reader to laptop again it will automatically detect your drive you can see uh, h5 uh, 1 mb so it is wrong it is showing the wrong size because it is uh, my already some there is os pre-installed in your in my memory card that's why it is showing 5 500 uh, and 12 mb uh, so i have to format that one so that it will show the correct size so i will click on format So you can see now it is showing 30 GB memory card. So my 30 GB memory card it is now showing currently 30 GB memory card. So in this way you have to format your memory card first so that it will show the correct size here. Okay. So this is the first step that you have to do. Then uh, check in your my computer. There should be one drive. You can see 30 GB or approximate 30 GB memory card drive should be there. So this is the correct uh, correct way to format your memory card okay once you format your memory card you you need another software that software name is raspberry pi image flasher so how to find out this software you have to go to google go to raspberry pi official website raspberry pi dot com dot software so this is the website and from here you can download the software for, for windows mac os or ubuntu okay so you will get software downloaded file like this if you don't get this file please contact me on whatsapp i will share this file with you if you need it but uh, you can easily download from this website also okay so once you download you can click on this file this is the application file that is the software file you have to install this software once you install this software go to your start bar and uh, here you can search sorry on your start bar you can search raspberry pi flasher you can see raspberry pi imager so this one you have to search and once you search you will open uh, you can open this one so once you open choose your devices that is memory card we have to choose here uh, so devices not sorry uh, choose your devices means which raspberry pi you are using that you have to choose okay so i am using raspberry pi 3 so I will use Raspberry Pi 3 here okay if you use Raspberry Pi 4 you can use Raspberry Pi 4 also then choose OS 
then you can select your OS uh, so it is a recommended OS 64 bit I, I am selecting this one you can also select same then select the storage from here you can see 30 GB memory card 30 approximate 30 GB memory card you have to select that is USB okay select that one and just click on next now once once this screen is open here it is asking customize setting you need to apply or not just click on no here okay once you click on no then next it is asking whether you want to uh, erase your data which is available into your memory card or not so if you want to erase that data just click on yes and uh, it will override the OS into your memory card so click on yes here and wait for some second it will uh, flash the OS into memory card it will take at least 20 minutes ok now you can see once uh, the raspberry pi OS get installed in your memory card it is showing this message raspberry pi OS 64 bit has been written to your USB storage ok now you can click on continue button ok now after that you can plug out your uh, memory, uh, memory card from your laptop then you can take your raspberry pi and at the back end of the raspberry pi you can see there is a SD card reader uh, SD card slot is there you have to plug in your memory card into that slot ok ok now we will connect our HDMI cable and power supply here so you can see I have the monitor this is a screen which having that HDMI cable ok that is connected here ok so you can use any TV uh, which is available at your home which having HDMI facility so just connect this HDMI cable here memory card already plug in at the back end of raspberry pi now after that you can give the power so from the for the power you can use a, a mobile adapter 5 volt 2 ampere adapter ok you can use any mobile adapter which having 5 volt 2 ampere rating so just connect here then after that you can connect your keyboard and mouse so this is my keyboard so keyboard USB you can connect here okay and then mouse you can connect so I am using the wireless mouse so mouse also you can connect here so this is very basic now you can see monitor is started it is booting up So you can see welcome to raspberry pi desktop version so wait for some second it will show the desktop again okay now we have to do some setting so click on next button okay so you can select the english language and english sorry us keyboard that setting you have to do then click on next button so it is okay now so you can give raspberry pi and password you can remember your password because this will definitely require later ok so once you give username once you give password then click on next button then uh, no need to do anything here just click on next button you can skip this setting if you don't require the wifi setting now later we can do this setting so click on next then you can use the this browser chrome browser click on next as a your default browser uh, then no need to connect this click on next then uh, then click on next button here so network is not there so it is okay so you can click on restart the raspberry pi so these are some basic settings that you have to do before start the raspberry pi later very important you should connect your raspberry pi with your network that we can do once raspberry pi again is started ok once the raspberry pi gets started so very important point is you should first connect with your network so this is my network that i connected so at the top at the right side corner you will find the network symbol from there you can connect with your network then you can download my this folder from my web page link the web page link given in the description of this video so from there you will you can download this folder 
so once you download it may be in the zip file so you have to unzip that one once you unzip that one you will get this folder then after that uh, we need to install some command we need to run some command on the raspberry pi so which are those command you can open this folder first you will find one command folder so right click here and click on text editor okay so those are the command we have to run one by one so click on this black uh, uh, black window which is terminal window of raspberry pi so first command you can copy that first command from here copy that first command and paste into raspberry pi window make sure you should connect it with your internet okay then enter so wait for some second it will update your raspberry pi okay once the first command done now you can execute the second command so second command is this one upgrade so one by one you have to copy and paste that command then y enter okay once the second command get installed now uh, you can see this is the third command but what is important of this command i will show you so let's execute fourth command first so many of you are facing the issue to install the open civil library into raspberry pi so once i paste that command let's say open cv and press enter so many of you are getting this error like externally manage environment so like this so to avoid this error you have to execute third command first before install the open cv so copy the third command first and paste again so and press enter Okay. After the third command, you can again install the Open CV by using this fourth command. Now you can see in front of you, in front of you, I have installed the Open CV Python successfully with NumPy. All the things are get installed uh, with this Open CV Python. so whatever the error you are facing earlier external mare that you can easily solve by using this third command and then you can install open cv with this command okay so i hope you get idea how to install open cv in raspberry pi with the fresh os okay